Meghan Markle officially joined the royal family in 20 before securing her role as the Duchess of Sussex. The 40-year-old garnered a certain level of fame due to starring in the hit legal drama Suits for seven seasons. Speaking on a recent episode of US Weekly, etiquette coach Micah Meyer discussed with host Christina Garibaldi about how Meghan's previous acting experience helped her navigate her way through the pressures of royal engagements, such as at the recent Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Ms. Garibaldi asked the etiquette expert, they were, you know, booed when they went to the church, St. Paul's, but how do you think that she, Meghan, handles herself in those awkward trying times? Ms. Meyer replied, I think her background as an actress probably helps her. I think she keeps her cool. I can't even imagine what the pressure would feel like in that moment and being booed, adding, I think she handled herself beautifully. She added, I think, you know, looking at the footage and looking at the photos, it can't be easy, you know, taking it in and realizing shush is technically on a stage in so many ways. And maybe it's using what she learned, as an actress, and how to, you know, keep her composure that really kept her looking calm and cool, even if she didn't feel it. Ms. Maya concluded, I thought she did fantastically. In January 2020, just shy of two years into their marriage, Meghan and Harry announced they were stepping down as senior working royals. In their announcement statement, posted via their official Instagram account, the couple declared that the decision came after many months of reflection and internal discussions. They claimed that they wanted to use the time to carve out a new role with the institution, whilst still continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. Their brief appearance at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June was the couple's first official appearance in the UK since their royal exit. On June 3, the couple arrived at St. Paul's Cathedral for the service of Thanksgiving. Upon their arrival, they were met with a mix of cheers and boos as they made their way hand in hand into Cathedral. They, along with their two children, reportedly left during the afternoon on June 5, before Jubilee celebrations officially concluded.